One, two, three, let's go! Hello lovelies and welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would do things a bit different. Hence the fireplace ambiance in the background. Is it too much? Quite possibly. But we're just gonna go with it because it's fun. It's different and it's fun. So, today I thought we would be a bit more cosy and yeah. So I'm sat on my bed, which you can't really see, but I'm sat on my bed. I have the TV with the fake fireplace, because <laughs> why not? And I thought we would do a bit of an unboxing, reading kind of vlog video. I'm not really sure how I'm phrasing this or naming this whole thing, but yeah. So. Back in, I want to say October of 2020, Tom Fletcher and McDonald's announced that Tom Fletcher had written eight short stories for the Happy Readers Club. I think that's what it's called. There was no real timeline of when these were going to come out, except that we're in the middle of a pandemic and yeah, there's been some lockdowns and other things happening. Let's not talk about that. So, eight short stories. I have managed to collect them all. I don't know if there's any sort of reading order to these and I don't know if they are like connected with his previous books. Like, I kind of feel like the Woleb is connected to the Creakers because the Creakers live in the Woleb. That is below backwards for anyone that's wondering. <laughs> I don't even remember which order they came out in so I'm just gonna you know pick pick a, pick them one after the other. So got my scissor. So what I thought I'd do is I would um, unbox them i.e. <laughs> cut them up. I'd read them and sort of give my short summarise of what I thought of it. So, first off we have The Land of the Dinosaurs. So, it has a little blurb on the back side, so I'll read that one, shall I? for you. So, hello, do you want to come to an exciting world? Of course you do. Izzy and Benji have got an incredible secret. They can travel through time in their magical van. And when they go back to the land of the dinosaurs, they have a truly rawsome adventure. So there's loads of activity in there as well, like a little colour me, a little colour, colour, colour in a dinosaur part, and by the end uh, there's a fun facts double page, as well as a little mace to sort of um, find your way through, uh, draw your own dinosaur pages. And, uh, and a sticker scene where you can place all the stickers here in the end. Ancient Egypt. <laughs> so 
So this one says, Hello, do you want to come to an exciting world? Well, of course you do. Izzy and Benji love having adventures in the magical van, but when they meet Queen Cleopatra, she wants to feed them to the crocodiles. Join them for the most dangerous adventure yet. Oh, they're so cute. 12 seconds later. Shall we do? No grown-ups allowed this time. So, same as the others, starts with, hello, do you want to come to an exciting world? Of course you do. Izzy and Benji are off on another adventure in their magical van, but when they arrive in a town with no grown-ups, things get messy. What will you do if there were no grown-ups allowed? Not sure. A few moments later. Magical North Pole. So. Izzy and Benji go to all kinds of incredible magical places in their time traveling van and when they travel to the North Pole they meet the most incredible magical person ever, Santa! <laughs> More moments later. Let's go with the Wish Forest. That's so funny, but okay. Izzy and Bendia are off on their magical van to a place where wishes grow. Can they help the forest sprite Ash and make all their wishes come true? 20 minutes later. Spectacular space. Izzy and Benji's magical van has been to lots of incredible places, but it's never travelled into space before. Join Izzy and Benji as they go on an adventure that's out of this world. An hour later. Okay, so, the roll-up. Izzy and Benji's magical time traveling van has taken them on another amazing adventure deep underground to a strange upside down world filled with incredible creatures, the Creakers. Didn't I say? Two hours later. And the last one. Which is Fantastic Future? Fantastic future. That wasn't as fun. <laughs> okay, so it says it's Benji's birthday and Izzy knows what to get him. An adventure in her magical van. But when they arrive in the future, birthdays are banned and they're wanted by the birthday police. Oh dear. <laughs> Three hours later. So, to sum up all the books, <laughs> I don't want to say, because they're only about 30 pages long. Oh no, they're about 50 pages long, but you know, there's not a lot. So, to sum them up, what can I say? Well, I, I feel like I'm biased in a way because I'm. Well, I'm a, quite a fan of Tom Fletcher's, so basically anything he does, I will like. <laughs> not really, but more or less. I've not read his books for the smaller children. I've read his uh, thicker novel ones, uh, and I really enjoy them. I mean, they're not technically for my age, but I mean, who cares? They're fun, and... You know, we're all kind of, we have that child inside of us, don't we? That just, we want 
we still want to be kids in a way. I think it's brilliant that Tom wrote these uh, short story books for the Happy Readers Club that McDonald's has and that you can purchase a Happy Meal and get a book. When I was little I got the plastic toys from them which I mean I liked them I'm, I'm not complaining about them but we didn't get books. I mean they, they, they're just great. I love them. They're going into my collection, my I'm a grown ass person who has a book collection of books for all ages. <laughs> I'm still not sure in which order to place them because I kind of want to place them in some kind of order. Um, we shall see what I figure out. I might like just put them in like a uh, alphabetical order, I don't know. So all of them have these little fun activities and fun facts and stickers to put in so there's like little mini games and fun fact pages and these colour us in pages which I'm not going to do. I'm going to leave them as is and I'm not going to do the uh, little games at the end either but I have a feeling that if ever a small child found these books uh, they would ruin them for me. So were they worth getting a bunch of Happy Meals to get these books? Yes, they were. And I'm very happy that I managed to collect all eight of them. Uh, I mean, what else can I say? I do like a little cute short story. And I mean, these are very short and they are definitely going to count as one book on my Goodreads goal. Uh, yes, I am cheating a little bit, but uh, it's my reading goal. I'm not really hurting anyone, am I? No. <laughs> So uh, that's it for me today from my little cosy bed kind of setting with my fireplace ambiance. Uh, <laughs> it still make me laugh. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I shall see you all very shortly. Take care. Oh, bye bye.